Hey guys, welcome back to Gunny Farms. I'm Eric and today we are canning corn. All right guys, I got four more bushel of corn to shuck. So I'm gonna go shuck this corn and then we're gonna go inside. This would be uh, bushel number one of four. So I'm gonna get to shucking some corn, baby. Man. That right there guys is the best corn I've ever had in my life right there so i was lucky enough um, my buddy gave me his leftover corn which is his leftover corn is four bushel of corn so um so i am very blessed to have uh somebody like that around the neighborhood and is willing to um, give away that much food that he's grown so uh thank you i appreciate it and right now I'm just uh, letting the corn soak in the sink and stay cold and I'm taking the kernels off the cob and I'm just using a paring knife doing this uh, it's pretty easy it comes off the, the cob pretty easily you don't want to go too deep when you cut or you'll get some of that cob material and that's uh, kind of unpleasant when you open up a can of corn in the winter and some of the kernels got a little bit of cob so don't get greedy this is a this is a gallon size freezer bag right here full of corn I wish this is all I had, but actually, if you take a look, I've got all that as well. That right there is a 30 quart stainless steel mixing bowl, and it's it's pretty full. So we're gonna get going on this corn and start on it while it's a little bit cooler out today. Follow along. We're gonna get a stock pot of water boiling. This is a little bit different method than uh, you may have seen in the past. Uh, or on other videos, what we're going to do is take a stock pot of boiling water. We're actually going to dump it in to our cut kernel corn in our stainless steel bowl. And that all that does the blanching process right there. And then we'll ladle our corn into our jars. All right, while our water is heating up on the stove here and our corn is just sitting here chilling, we're going to get our jars and wash them up and keep them in hot water over here in the sink. All right guys, our water is almost uh, heated up on the stove here and we're gonna get our canner going here too. We're gonna put three quarts of water in the canner. Then we're gonna get it up going on the stove, heating up so we can start processing our corn. All right, our water is to a boil. And all we're gonna do is take the water and dump it into our corn right there. And that is boiling water right there. This has got a good stir while it's still hot. So what we're basically doing here is we are blanching our corn right now. Just boiling hot water. All right, next step is uh, we're just gonna ladle some of this liquid into our jars here. So we just got a funnel. We're just gonna fill the jar till the corn is covered. All right, now all we're gonna do is wipe our rims. Make sure those are nice and clean. Um, I've still got some jars to fill here. I'm gonna get a batch going in the canner. It takes 55 minutes to process in the canner. So we're gonna get a, a good batch going right now. Also, um, I recommend when pressure canning, use a good quality lid, a uh, ball lid, a cur lid, something like that. I wouldn't use an Amazon lid for pressure canning. Uh, I don't trust it. I'm not gonna try it. I got a lot of work into making this corn and I don't wanna lose a whole bunch of uh, 
pints of corn in the canner because I used an inferior lid. So I would recommend a, a name brand lid. All right, we're just gonna get our lids and bands on here. We got a nice clean rim. A nice quality lid. Just finger tight, that's it. And then we're gonna go set it in the canner. I have three quarts of water in the canner and it's warm right now. I'm just getting her warmed up. Uh, once I get this filled, we'll turn her up. All right, we got our canner full in here. We've got nine pints in there. We're gonna put our lid on. Put the lid on. Once you see steam coming out the vent here, uh, just let it go for 10 minutes and then we'll put our weight on and then we'll tie it. And once it comes up to, uh, it starts jiggling, then we start processing for 55 minutes. All right guys, we've been venting for 10 minutes now. We're gonna put our weight on. Whoa baby, whoa baby, just like that. All right, guys, this uh, is done processing. We went for our 55 minutes, and I'm going to just shut her down. I'm going to do a little switcheroo here with the two canners and uh, get the process. And I think I have uh, 16 pints in here right now. I could fit two more, I believe. Uh, but I've got all wide mouth for my final batch. So we're just going to switch this around real quick. So same thing this, with this guy here, we're just going to wait till it starts steaming out the spout. Once it does, let it go 10 minutes and then we'll put our weight on. This one here, we're going to let this completely depressurize, uh, it's going to take a few minutes so, and then we'll take the lid off and pull our jars out. Alright, this guy is done. The pressure valves went down so we're going to remove the weight, set it aside, we'll open our lid. Watch out, there is steam that will come out on your arm so you got to be careful. Oh, I just set that aside and then uh, we're gonna pull our corns out. Look at that. Look at that guys. Doesn't that look awesome? On to batch number three right now. Just finished up batch number three. We've got batch number four. Well guys, that's about it here at uh, Gandhi Farms this evening. We're just pulling the last batch of corn out of our canner right now. So super easy. We had four bushels of corn to start with. After uh, husking, and cutting the kernels off the cob, we ended up with 30 pints of corn. So that's super awesome. That's really gonna help our food stores here for the winter. And I love eating sweet corn all year round. So this is a good way to do it. Super easy recipe. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys aren't already, I encourage you to subscribe to our channel and hit that like button down below. All right guys, thanks for watching. We'll catch you on the next one.